Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I am going to get into a video on Chrome OS. Now as far as Chrome OS, this is the operating system within Chromebooks. Can you get this on your computer? Absolutely. Now with this one in mind, if you're going to run it onto your computer, you're going to be running Chromium. What is the difference between Chromium and Chrome OS? Well, Chrome OS is basically, Google is trying to make their Chrome OS into like an Apple thing where they're very restrictive on hardware and stuff like that. So with that one in mind, the only major differences between Chrome OS and Chromium is hardware performance gains and, and things of that nature. But for the most part, it's, it's the same thing across the board. And um, another big thing to note is Chromium is slightly out of date of what Chrome OS is. So new features and new things like that, it may take a little while for Chromium to get it. But with all that in mind, it's, it's pretty much the same thing across the board. Um, I think with Chrome OS, you get um, the Play Store, whereas with Chromium, it, in my current version, it's not there. But, but for the most part, other than that and, and like the hardware thing, it's the same thing. You can get this for free. I'm, I'm using VMware, so I'll leave a link down below to this. Just scroll down to here and you can actually install that. Make sure you update the thing whenever you start it up. But uh, you can also get this through a USB. I will actually link down below a way you can add it to a USB and that way you can boot it from a USB drive. So with that, um, let's jump on in. Chrome OS, uh, what is it about? And, and and is it worth it to for you to actually go out and spend your money on this? So Chrome OS, again, it is uh, in Chromebooks and whatever, so we're using Chromium. But the big thing that, that you'll note after using this for a bit is a theme that goes across the board and that is Apple. So for those of you who don't know what I mean, is when you take a look at Apple's products, for the most part, whether it's iPhones, iPads, and so on, it is very, very limiting on what you can do. You're very limited on customization. It's just, it's just overall, it's very limiting. Can't change the looks for the most part and all this other stuff. Whereas with Android, you don't like your launcher and stuff, go and download a new launcher. You don't like your phone, go ahead and root it or whatever. This, you really can't do that. You can change it, but it is very difficult and you really gotta need to know what you're doing. Now, this is a Linux distribution, so you get the benefits and also the negative things that comes with that but uh, like the security flaws and also the security benefits. But the big thing to note is this is very, very, very much locked down. And unless you know what you're doing, it's, it's, you're not going to be able to change things. So you might be noticing, okay, there is no applications on the desktop nor widgets. What's up with that? Well, the thing is, and, and you might be blaming it, saying that's why well, I'm being lazy. I just didn't put it up there. The thing is, you can't add that there. You can't, for whatever reason, Google made it where you can't add widgets, at least, to the desktop. So you're kind of screwed. Oh, I want to know weather, so I have to go all the way into some other stuff. Whereas, I mean, you've you seen my, in fact, let me show you my thing on Windows. So this is Windows, and if you've seen my Linux, you will see that it's as customized as this. The fact of the matter, even, even Macs, I'm able, I mean, obviously I have to jump through some hoops to do it, but I am able to customize it to what I want. So even Apple isn't this limiting on their laptops. So come on. So with that one in mind, again, if it's going to feel like I'm ripping this one a new hole, but, you know, it is what it is. And uh, there, there's just things you got to know when you're going into this. Um, 
and, and I'm not saying that this is bad for everybody. In fact, if I was to give it to my grandparents, I think that they will enjoy it a lot. If I was to give it to some elementary kid, I think that will get a lot more out of it than a simple Windows interface it, and, and so on. It, it, it really depends on the individual. But as far as the mass majority, especially those who have actually been around computers for a while, you're going to be missing out a lot. I mean, this is a Linux interface, by the way. The, the back end, if you look at under the hood, it's Linux. And uh, that means you got the benefits and the bad side of Linux. You got the security vulnerabilities and the security protection of Linux. So with and it all really does take is simple Google searches to find either the uh, tweaks or, or security vulnerabilities or whatever it may be, you know, just the stupid things that that you wouldn't think about. But same thing goes with Windows and all the other stuff. So that's a big thing to note into itself. But unlike other Linux, where Linux kind of prides itself for being custom sizable and, and all the other stuff, this isn't it. And this ain't a bad thing. If you're given this for students at a school or something like that, or, or maybe even a workplace, maybe you're an account firm or something and your software can run on this, this actually might not be bad because at least you know people aren't downloading some the newest MMO or mass multiplayer game or whatever it may be. The fact of the matter is, is this actually might be a good choice. But as far as myself, I'm not really sure. Because let's take a look at just a simple example of the taskbar at the bottom. So the taskbar at the bottom, I can move it left, I can move it to the right, or I can put it at the bottom, which is at default. But I can't put it at top. Why? And then we get into something like the launcher itself. So for Android, for those of you who don't know, the app, the, the uh, this would be considered as the app drawer. And they're even really taking it from Android itself. This kind of feels a whole lot like the um, default Android app drawer. And um, that kind of sucks because, you know, you might take a look at this and see how few things they are and oh it's pretty easy to find what you want but image this with like a hundred applications it'll be very difficult to find exactly what you want there other than knowing the actual name you you can't really find it so there is like you can't just press a button like with windows press a letter and then search by the first name you can't go by category you can't do any of that stuff and it's kind of weird because with Android itself, you don't like the app drawer. You can change the entire launcher itself. And in many cases, you could just change and tweak the app drawer itself to get what you want, even down to color, font size, and whatever it may be. Whereas with this, and, and keep in mind, Chrome OS has been out for a while. That's it. Like, it's kind of like they just want to strip any customization out all entirely, and they want to make the choice for you. It's, it's kind of it's kind of bad when, it, when you actually think about it. Now, again, with that being in mind, again, if you're dealing with workplace people or whatever, they're not there tweaking their stuff, but how often are they going to be doing that in the first place? Let them personalize like they want, keep their morales high, and there you go. So that's a big thing to note. Now, let's talk about the actual um, settings itself. So there's a few security vulnerabilities I found with this. And um, if I select this right here to get to my settings, my email, I'll block it out obviously, it is showing right there. Not only that, my name is showing right there. So I can't put a handler name in there. And uh, my email is shown for the wide world to see. What's the problem with this? Well, the fact of the matter is, is if you're, say, in a coffee shop with a Chromebook and you got some stalker person behind you, they now know your email. So that's a pretty good hint. Oh, I know you're a Zecta for a company and you got a Chromebook. 
now I know your email. If you go to settings or a few other things, if you, even if you try to log in to the here, the actual login has your email and, and obviously your name and whatever, but that's a big thing to note. Now, uh, going into the settings itself, uh, again, you know, email crap, but, um, as far as this goes, it, it's pretty generic. If you go into the settings portion itself, you have uh, network, Bluetooth, uh, plugins, people, appearances, devices, search engine, and so on. Uh, big thing I want to mention is go down to the devices, and if you if you're running this on VMware, then go to devices, go to display and you're able to change the size. Note that there is not able to, to expand both sides. Um, this is just a problem with the current version or, or it just might be how it is for this. So that's a big thing to note. So you can change the size here um, if, if it's too small or whatever. And that way you can actually see it full screen or whatever your screen size is. So that's a big thing notes into that. Um, but I mean, this is a basic interface and it, you know, it's, it's kind of straightforward. Um, if we go down here, by the way, this is, if you want to manually check for updates, there you go. Um, and, and by the way, if, if any updates are available and the thing already sees it, you can actually down here, it will actually have something and you can press it. And, and tell it to restart the thing. So just note that also that it'll be looking for updates itself. So you don't have to manually do this. With Chrome OS, you won't have to do that. It will automatically be updated. So don't worry about that. Um, that's one thing I actually do like about this. And one reason why I'll be okay with giving it to something like an elementary student or a grandparent, because that way I don't have to worry about, oh, do they have the latest security patch or not? So that, that's a big thing to note into itself. So with that, um, the applications that you can actually get on this, again, note that I don't have the, and, and, and again, we got an email right here. Um, so, you know, Stalker XYZ, they can see that and now, you know, they can do whatever with it. So note that. But um, with, with the applications itself, uh, with the actual official version of the Chrome OS, you will have Play Store. And what the Play Store is, is, is for the most part, a, few, a lot of applications on it is meant for the Chromebook itself. But a good number of the applications, they were really meant for mobile devices, whether it's tablets or smartphones. And it's emulated into the environment. So basically you're running a mobile phone app onto a desktop. So this means that stuff like keyboards and mouses might not work on it. So you're, you need a touch screen and that could cause problems into itself. So big thing to note that. Now with this, this one uh, is the older type of store that they have. And a lot of things on here is pretty much linking to some website or whatever. So, yeah. But note, just go down to apps and go down to Chrome apps. So that way you can actually get stuff that's actually an application. And you can actually go down here and, and, and select even further, say, oh, by Google or not or whatever. And that way you can actually run things off, make sure things run offline or whatever it may be. And you don't have to have online access always with with some of this stuff. Um, with the Play Store, there is Microsoft Word and and I think a few other things. So you can actually download that there. Whereas here, it, it's you know you're kind of screwed with what you get. There's not much. And by the way, you can actually search both on the Play Store and on here for things that will work on the Chromebook. So feel free to check out that but um, you're going to find more than not. The, the Play Store is going to be where it's at. Here's not so much. Um, so yeah, I just note that. But that's pretty much it. Um, for file stuff, it's a very complex system. Um, it's, it's just like 
um, windows to a point but when you start going into here and say so you see in C drive or whatever you're now seeing the um, stuff stuff like the uh, Google Drive and what is in your Google Drive and, and what it may be what's offline and and so on so as far as that goes if you've got any questions anything else feel free to leave that down oh yeah uh, last but least, um, you also got notifications down there, so it's not too much. But if you've got any questions, anything else, then feel free to leave that down in the comment section, and I'll try to answer that as quickly as possible. But uh, leave a like, subscribe, share, and, and check out links down below.